Good evening, Fort McLeod. Before I start my speech, I want to thank a few people. I want to thank the Chamber for putting together this event. A lot of time goes into this. I also want to thank my fellow candidates for putting their names forward. I do believe we have provided the residents with a wide variety of choice. For those of you who don't know me, I am Marco van Hugenbos. In 1996, at the age of six, I immigrated to Canada. I grew up outside of town with nine brothers and three sisters. Participation in family life and the family farm was a must, and this has instilled work ethics, which I will benefit from for the rest of my life. I moved, I moved into town when I was 17 and have now been a resident for 10 years. I currently reside at 615 22nd Street with my beautiful wife, Elizabeth, and our two kids. My company, South Country Doors, was established early 2015 and has been involved in many projects in and around this town. Why am I running for council? A good question. A question I have been asked a lot in the last month. I am running for council because I feel that I can become a crucial link in a team that will set the direction of this town for many years to come. A direction that will affect our seniors right down to our teens. Our seniors who have given it all. Building this great town as we know it. A part of a community that feels so strongly about the decision made by our councils. Our teens and young families who don't always have time to be involved. Who are more often building up careers and families. However, the direction of our town will impact them the most. On a flight back home a couple weeks ago, I was reading a book given to me by a chamber executive. Thanks, Linda. The book was called 13 Ways to Kill Your Community. A couple chapters really caught my attention and I would like to focus on these. Number one, ignore your youth. The youth is the future of every town. Number two, ignore your seniors. Seniors are the foundation of every town. Their knowledge and experience is invaluable. Number three, don't cooperate. Unless you have just arrived into town, we have all seen what can be accomplished when people and groups can cooperate. We have also seen what a mess we can get when they do not cooperate. Number four, live in the past. I really want to focus on this point. In my connections through the business world and discussions over the last months, I have felt a lot of our residents have a deep connection to the past. I hear people say things we used to have this or things were always done like that. I'm not saying we need to forget the past. We need to look at the mistakes of the past so we don't repeat them in the future. But if we keep on dwelling in the past, we, in the past, you can be sure we will forget about the future and the future of our community. I know I haven't talked about a platform or an agenda or things that I find important. If we do that, we will be here all night. My emphasis tonight was to focus on what this town needs. We need cooperation. We need council that can work as a team, a team that will work for the betterment of all the residents, a team that will present Fort McLeod, Alberta in a new light. Thank you.